guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome to a new video and today's video will be a Q&A So since I started this YouTube channel for you guys to get to know me a little bit better I thought what a better way than get to know me than a Q&A So that's what we're gonna do today and a while ago I asked you guys uh, through my Instagram stories to ask me loads of questions and things that you wanted to know about me and um, I actually got a lot a lot of questions from you guys I all wrote them down in my phone. Let me check where they are. I kind of categorize them into different categories. However, some categories have more questions than others. And like about some questions, I can go so in depth. So I do feel that about some topics, I might have to do a separate video. For example, about the moving to and studying in London category. I feel like I can go so in depth about that, but I can't really do that in this video because else this video will become way too long um, So I think I might have to make a separate video out of that So if you guys have any more questions or if there are any other things that you want to know about me Please drop your questions down below in the comments and then I will definitely include that for the next video So I would say get yourself some tea get yourself some snacks. Let's get comfortable and let's get into this So the first section I called general so the first question is, how old are you? So I'm 24 years old. I'm born 1996 on the 4th of October, which brings us to the next question. What's your zodiac sign? So I'm a Libra and I am a typical, typical Libra. I am so bad at making decisions. If you ask me, what do you want to eat? I'm not able to answer you. Which restaurant do you want to go? Can't choose. Uh, what movie do you want to watch? Can't make up my mind. And we end up like not watching a movie that night. It's horrible. It's an issue. I'm working on it. But yeah, I'm a typical, typical Libra. Uh, the next question is, where are you from? So I'm from Belgium. I was born and raised there. And to be more specific, I'm from West Flanders. Uh, I'm from a very, very small town. And I'm from the country, country, countryside. So a lot of people actually think that I am from Antwerp or from Brussels. And that I'm like the city girl. But I, I'm really not. Um, I'm kind of like that countryside girl um so yeah that's me um so then how many languages do you speak so i speak uh flemish and well dutch it's the same thing i speak english obviously so then i can speak french but i'm not gonna lie since i moved to london i forgot most of it so yeah shame on me but i could survive a weekend in france so that's that then I could also survive a weekend in Germany because my German is not that bad. And then lastly, my boyfriend's teaching me how to speak Arabic, uh, but not gonna lie, just the basics. So I can count in Arabic, um, I can order in a restaurant. So I would be able to survive two hours in an Arabic speaking country. Um, so next question, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a little brother. He is 20 years old. He's not so little anymore. And um, we're really, really close. A lot of people actually think that we're twins um, because we look very much alike, even more in real life. Um, and if we tell them that we're not twins, they're like, oh yeah, so the boy is the eldest and the girl is the youngest. And I'm like, no, I'm four years older than him. But anyhow, um, so yeah, I have one brother. Then the next question is, is your actual name Mary Lou? Yes, my actual name is Mary Lou. Um, a lot of people actually think that my first name is Marie and my second name is Lou, or that my first name is Mary Louise and I shorten it into Mary Lou, but no, I only have one name, which is Mary Lou. I don't even have a second or a third name, so Mary Lou is kind of the thing that I'm stuck with. But in all honesty, I hate my name. I absolutely hate my name. So simply because my name is not international, so it's very hard for non-French speaking people to pronounce my name and a lot of people just don't get it. Um, and I feel like my name is very confusing and besides that, my name is really, really long. Um, so if I have to make a restaurant reservation and I have to spell out my name, we are 15 minutes further down the line. Like my name is just too long. So I just introduced myself everywhere as Lulu um, and I was literally this close, this close to legally change my name to Lulu but a lot of people told me that I shouldn't do it so I'm still thinking about it yeah then moving on to the next section moving to and studying in London so this is a section where a lot of people ask me a lot of questions and I do feel like I'll have to make a separate video out of this so if you have any more questions please 
drop them down below and if i get enough questions um I'll do another video. So the first question is, where did you live before you went to London? So I lived in Belgium my entire life. So I was born and raised there. I did my primary school, middle school, high school. I did everything there until the age of 17 because that's when I graduated from high school. And then I took a gap year. So unlike what a lot of people think, I didn't immediately move from Belgium to London. Um, I first took a gap year. So the first six months I went to Oxford to learn English because I was planning on studying abroad after and I basically had to understand my English classes. So that's why I went to Oxford to learn English. And then the remaining five months, I went to Florence as in Italy to take on a variety of creative subjects to just figure out what I liked and what I didn't like. Um, and that was about my gap year. And then after I went to London to do my BA. So the next question is, why did you leave Belgium? So basically, long story short, I left Belgium to study. So I always wanted to do something within the creative world uh, and related to fashion. And back then in Belgium, the only fashion related courses that were available was fashion design in the Royal Academy of Fine Arts in Antwerp, I believe. Um, and I really didn't want to do design. I wanted to do fashion business or media or something more along those lines, but not design. So that's why me and my mom went abroad and looked at schools outside of Belgium that did offer these courses. So basically that's why I left Belgium. So then how old were you when you moved? Was it a big step? So yes, I was 17 years old. It was obviously a huge step because I left everything and everyone that was familiar to me behind, but nevertheless, it was the best step I've ever taken. So yeah, definitely have no regrets there. Um, and then what did you study? So I have studied a lot already, so let's get this one in order. I did my BA in Creative Direction, which is a very wide course because it has a variety of advertising, public relations, visual merchandising, journalism. Uh, so it's a very, very wide course. And then after my BA, I actually got a scholarship. So I got a free master's gifted from my school. And I just thought it was too big of an opportunity to say no to. Um, and even though I wanted to do something business related, I took the gifted masters anyways. Um, and I put my business related masters on hold. So then I did my masters in fashion promotion, media and communications, which I really, really enjoyed. And then after I actually did the masters that I was initially going to do, the business related masters. So now I'm doing uh, my masters in entrepreneurship, which I really enjoy as well. What do you want to do after your graduation? So basically the idea to do after graduation is to work finally, but I'm not sure if I would want to work full time yet or only have a part time job because obviously I would still love to combine it with my blogging. Um, because in the end that's kind of my job already as well so I definitely would want to find something which would make it easier for me to combine the two um, so I'm not really sure what exactly but that's like the rough idea um, then are you planning on staying in London forever or would you ever move back to Belgium um, well for now obviously I want to stay in London simply because especially within fashion and within the field I want to work in there is so much more opportunity in London than in Belgium. Even though you have Antwerp, which is a fashion capital as well, I still believe that London has so much more opportunity simply because London is a world capital and kind of speaks for itself. Um, so I would want to stay in London and that is a big reason for it, for opportunity. But also because my life is here, I've been here since I was 17. Um, I kind of built my life here. So it would be really hard for me to leave my life here behind and go back to Belgium and start from zero. However, as of now, the only reason that I could think of that I would ever leave London for, not necessarily to Belgium, but just somewhere a little bit more quiet, is when I would have a kid or kids. Because I do believe it's very hard to raise a child in London simply because it's so, so expensive. Um, I think if you if you and your partner want to live in London and you don't have a baby wish You'll have this amazing life. You'll have an amazing life But I don't think it's that amazing anymore if you have kids here just because it's really really hard financially um, So that would be a reason why I would move out of London um, But we'll see then we came to the next section called Instagram 
Um, so the first question is how did you get into Instagram? So basically I did not download the app Instagram with the thought of like, oh, I'm gonna become a blogger. No, not at all. I just downloaded it because everyone else was downloading it and it was like the new thing to do and i remember i started instagram when i went on a gap year so i just shared all the places that i went to and my outfits and i just shared my life on there and i think that's how my following started to grow and then before i knew brands would reach out to me and ask me whether i would want to collaborate and i would be like wait what does that mean like i had no clue what 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 the blogging industry was like so i kind of rolled into it organically and then the next question is how did you find the time to study while doing instagram so basically creating content has always been a huge hobby and passion of mine and i'm a firm believer that if you're really really passionate about something you will always find the time to do that passion so for me, for example, I would take pictures uh, in the morning um, or I would quickly ask my boyfriend, oh, can you take some pictures of me before he would go to work? He hates it, but he has to do it. Or if I go to school, I take photos during my lunch break um, or if I would meet up with a friend, uh, she would take some pictures of me or when my mom comes to London, she takes so many pictures of me. So that's kind of how I made it work. And then of course on the weekends, I try to meet up with my friends to create content. And then at night I do emails and um, yeah. So during the weekend, I do kind of work on my Instagram, you could say, but for me, it's not really work because I'm really passionate about it. So yeah, that's kind of how I get to spend time on Instagram while studying. Then we have, would you ever want to start your own brand? Uh, yes, I would love to start my own brand one day. Um, however, I wouldn't want to start a brand for the sake of starting a brand, if that makes sense. Um, so I really would have to bring something to the world. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what it could be, but maybe one day, maybe one day. And then we go into the next section called my love life. So I was really surprised how many questions there were about me and my boyfriend, uh, which is obviously really nice. So for the ones who don't know, I do have a boyfriend. I'll insert a picture here um, and let's get into the first question. So the first question is where and how did you meet? So we met in London and we met through mutual friends. So a very good friend of mine is engaged to a very good friend of his. Um, so that's kind of how we met. And the next question is what's the age difference between you and your boyfriend? So we defer. 15 years that was meant to be dramatic so i'm 24 and my boyfriend's 39 years old but to be honest we don't even notice the age difference anymore i'm not gonna lie guys i'm not gonna lie in the beginning we did it was weird for the both of us okay we were like oh we won't have anything in common this has no future no prospects like we might as well say goodbye right now but turns out we were so much on the same wavelength and we just fell in love so deeply and so madly and so quickly and two and a half years later we're still here so you could kind of say that love one so sometimes you really could say that age is just a number and in our case it was like that as well so yeah then the next question is how long have you been together so we've been together for two and a half years so we've been properly dating since june 2018 uh, but we already knew each other since march so it kind of took some months to become official let's say then next we have if you could pick any type of engagement ring which one would it be then on to the last and next section i called beauty and well-being so the first question is how tall are you so i am one meter 75 i think that is five foot eight or five foot nine then the next question which is such an often asked question is is your hair natural do you dye your hair do you have any extensions so yes my hair is 100 percent natural i've never dyed my hair i don't have highlights low lights anything like that so i don't dye or touch my hair in that way um i don't have any extensions i've never had any extensions not gonna lie really want to try like those pony extensions um uh, but no i don't have any extensions so yeah the only thing that i do for my hair is just take very good care of it so i use amazing products such as uh, philip kingsley hair products moroccan oil hair products um i love the olaplex ones and i love the gizu hair oil and heat protector spray uh so that those are kind of like my top hair products oh and brush wise 
Tangle Teaser and Mason Pearson. They are amazing. I do have to say my hair bleaches really easily from the sun. So when I do go on a holiday, I come back and my hair is like four shades lighter. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing you could say. So the next question is, do you have any fillers? Yes, I do have fillers. Um, I have under eye or tear scrub fillers. And I did make a video about it, which is my previous video. I'll link it down below. So if you want to know more about that, please do check that video out. So then we have favorite skincare and makeup products. So I'll start with my top three skincare products, which are the vitamin C serum from Skin Cuticles. It's a Rolls Royce of the vitamin C serums. If you want a good vitamin C serum, search no more. That's the best vitamin C serum, I swear. It's so good. Then next up we have the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. And then I would have to say the Kiehl's uh, Purifying Clay Mask, I think is really good as well. And then my top three makeup products are the Boy Brow from Glossier uh, in the shade Brown, which I use for my eyebrows. It's the most amazing eyebrow product. Then uh, the Ciate Triple XXL Mascara. It's really affordable as well. It's my favorite, like, affordable mascara and just favorite mascara in general so far um and then i also love the super size me lip liner from charlotte tilbury love that one so next up we have do you do anything to your brows like microblading or lamination no i don't do microblading or lamination to my brows the only thing that i do is use the glossier boy brow I'm telling you guys it's an amazing 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 product um so i have it in the color brown and i just brush 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 my eyebrows up and that's it. So next up we have what's your biggest insecurity body-wise and not body-wise. So let's start with body-wise. So I used to be really insecure about my under eyes, but then I got filler, which made me get rid of that insecurity. Um, I made a whole video about it. Again, I'll link it down below. So if you want to see it, watch that video. Uh, but obviously I'm human. I'm a girl. I have loads of insecurities. I mean, I have stretch marks. I have cellulite. I have the things that most of the women have. And I used to be really insecure about those, but now I realize like, why am I insecure about those? Everyone has them. And also what I try to do is surround myself with positive people because I do believe that your insecurities are dependent of the people that you surround yourself with. So um, I rather surround myself with people who make me feel empowered and secure instead of people who drag me down but yeah that's like a little tip i can give you and then not body wise i would say i used to be very introverted uh but i'm really working on that i mean if you would have told me two years ago oh you're gonna do a youtube channel i would be like no way i'm not i'm not doing that uh but here i am so i used to be really introverted but again i'm working on that so you could say that's like an insecurity of mine which is mentally or like not body wise um so yeah and then the last question is tell us something no one knows about you um, i don't know i don't really have secrets <laughs> i don't know let me think what's something no one knows about me Okay, I know something that not a lot of people know about me. So basically, I have a thing called tinnitus. Uh, by the way, this is not a sobbing story. Uh, I'm fine. So, but tinnitus is that you have a constant beep in your ear. So I got this when I moved to London uh, around when I was 18 years old. Um, and I guess I got it from being in a club. But let's be honest. I was always very close to the speakers. And um, yeah, one day my ears just popped. So since then, I always wear earplugs to protect my ears. And a lot of my friends are always like, what's in your ear? What's that? Wait, what's that thing? And I'm like, oh, that's my earplug. And they're like, oh, why? So yeah, a lot of people don't know that about me, but that's like a little fact. Uh, but yeah, else I don't really have any secrets. I'm pretty open with everything. So yeah, those were all of the questions. So I think we're now going to round up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please do let me know if you have any more questions for me down below in the comments. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you here soon. Mwah.